We are ready to kick off our quarterfinal with Nip and God sent G2 awaiting just one step further in that bracket. I think this is going to be really fun to watch. God sent's been impressive. They've had some good upset wins. Um, obviously, I think this would kind of uh, making the playoffs, I think, is already going to make this event good for them. Oh, yeah. This win would make it absolutely stunningly great. This would be a huge thing. But man, they got to play against their own inexperience. And that's yeah. what kind of caused them to collapse. In that last game against VP, they had a really tough time. I'm glad to see them ban Dust 2 because yesterday, Jame absolutely stopped them them cold on dust two with his Big awp time. and i was very very worried of them going up against device on the same map just collat after collat after collat doesn't make things easier but nuke a starting point picked by god sent a ct start for nip we look on into overpasses the next map in this series and what are the odds of us getting a little ancient there at the end how about that fellas how about them apples yeah. that's uh that's a pretty interesting one i was surprised by this solar pass pick to be honest by nip i was expecting something more standard in terms of inferno or maybe mirage but you know, they, they know what they want, so. Nip versus God sent. Let's get this one underway. And God sent a really passive, really patient outside, and finally it pays off. Hampers dink down. He's got a retreat. God sent won't hunt him down B, though. They'll take the space outside, splitting into main. They have some really exciting T side strats that we just saw the other day, and I can't wait to see more of them on Nuke. A split ready. S tag dead, and Phelps moving in. It's the back vent player cleared out as well. God sent are all on the board. Low health on both remaining Nip players, and it's looking like Brazil is coming up top. Yeah, one nice tap from Device, but, you know, <laughs> he's all alone here, isn't he? And uh, now swung by Lato, it's pretty quickly laid to rest. So Godsend, they're going to grab themselves this pistol here. One of the things that we we really liked about this team, let's see how exciting this gets from the get-go. Then All right, NIP are going to try and get themselves back on the board. Taco's been spotted outside. Phelps was hoping to trade that out, but Device is on for a double now. Dumao could have something to say about this. Oh, that's a nice shot, Device on the receiving end of that Galil, but he's still done his job outside. You'll take a two for one out of Device. And also, this is only gonna make, ooh, hang on a moment. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is only gonna make Hampus's position yeah. that much stronger, right? You're not ready for a second man here. And even if he gets away with one and then somehow gets traded, like, mate, it, it's an almost undoable round from that point onwards, so. You think Hampus only wants one, Harry? Come on. He was a good pretty pinpoint yesterday in that game against Liquid. And out of ammo, back to the pistol. Shame he didn't have it, but it's still going to be a 1v3 for Dumao that he surely shouldn't be able to get done. The big flank is in from Hampus. Rez is anchoring the A site, and Plops is going to get that first spot and the drop. It's Nip on the board with three alive. We've really seen that comeback out in land, right? Like, be it Nathany on Gambit, just screaming every round, getting in your opponent's head. There's a team kill in this one. It's not pretty, and it's not going to get much better. It feels like wherever Godsent have gone, Harry, they've run into a stack, right? Yeah. Obviously on A, but even Yard has been Hampus device. Well, this was a double ramp hold. Right now, Nip have certainly got some reads in their brain. They're making the right calls. CT side nuke, you feel like nothing can go wrong. Hashtag seems so keen for the lobby man in this game already. Even before the well, smoke's come out, he's poking his head in the hut. Yeah, NIP have been very, very keen to aggress it in a, in a lot of these rounds. Like, even now, it's secret, but oh, Hampus is dear. in your face. There's more where that came from. Oh, oh, and, oh, 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 oh that's almost a third. How's he doing swipes like that? All right. Well, Hampus has done his work in this round. Two do make it down towards B, but that's where Rez is meant to be here to mop this up. Dumao and Barton are worlds apart. And with Dumao dead outside, it is just this bomb on the back of Barton in the 1v4. And Nip are here. Vice coming in from the flank, and it's a clean up again for Nip for alive. Absolutely no complaints. What this must feel like for Godson. Everything they're trying is getting denied by an IP. It's another fast day round, and this time they do get the opener. Pops keep pressured, and that's the bomb drop. That's going to throw this round into disarray. He looks away, and Barton cleans the kill, but God said, forget the plant. They're all about frags right now. There's a boost in the main smoke. Has Hampus got a gap? Rez is looking for heads from above, but he's missed the spray, and Barton picks up the pieces. On for the ace. Four kills right now, and they're waiting for Hampus to come to them. He will. Flash is good. He turns, and he's getting spammed. Bomb drop again, but Taco through the smoke. Finishes it off. Wow, what a round. You know, with squads like Liquid, for example, like taking... Filled the void pretty yeah. damn well with mouths, so you yeah. can't really complain. 
And yeah, like you... Oh, what on earth? Taco came back up the vent. That's just a disrespect play, Plops Key. He does get the trade again. Device pushed up on ramp, drops the bomb, but there's a second player coming from spawn. He looks the wrong way. Plopski dead on the top site. Device still holding, and he's got a bit more support now. Still looking the wrong way. Oh, but they don't kill Device. Dumal now knows there's another man here. Smoke, flash, bomb picked up. The grenade and the spam oh, will do, though. Device trades out, and to great effect, he could not see him. Last place they saw him, he got the kill outside. Parted, dropping down the ladder, has retrieved that bomb. Device has now realized this as well. With that smoke fading in the lobby, he's going to make the call. But yeah, the uh, ah. the bomb's gone, and NIP think this is the A play. Now, with Hampus going up heaven and clearing out the site, you know it's not A now. You hear the bomb going down on B, but you've got to drop. Martin's got himself a chance, the 1v2. Here's that fast ramp flank as well as that device making his way over towards the Econ, and Martin's in danger of getting pincered here. Doesn't know where device oh. is, but it's Hampus to deal with him. Godsent want the glory now. And with another gun round, Taco again gets down vent. Not even a smoke this time. Nip can't stop him. Hampus is now orping because Device wants frags. And Taco's coming up from lower. This time not up the ladder, but up the stairs. But we're really looking at Taco Ooh, oh. to win this fight. Missed shot, and there he is pouncing. That is a big kill for Taco. Taco is trying to be the savior of this round, the guy to do it all. He's still on this deep outside flank. Now, while this is happening, the rest of Godson have got to retake lobby. S-Tag's already oh. pushed up. And so Taco's done so much here. Oh, another kill for, for him. That Barton is here oh with the bomb. God. There's 25 seconds, uh. and he could wrap this hot player. S-Tag, oh, he's seen him. That's the bomb. S-Tag missed a bunch of timings and then hits it perfectly. Taco needs the ace in a one on three. And S-Tag has stolen this round away. Even though Taco deals with him, it's Device in the vent to lock it in, and NIP are onto a seven. You need to keep S-Tag out of lobby now, because yeah. it is becoming a problem. Like, early on, you're thinking, well, he can't do this every round, but now he's doing it every round. That's yeah. where you need to try and reel it in a little bit. To the credit of NIP, though, oftentimes he is supported by, you know, a ramp push at the same time. I think it's really put, you know, the fear in Godsend. Even with how they're playing lobby, it's very passive. Hampus again <laughs> with this secret control. Oh, okay, Taco. Taco, he's always behind you, man. You never know when he's going to find you. And Hampus, mate, he got the pick outside, dropped vent insta. He was hungry for impact in this round, and he found it. Been stopping these secret drops time and time again. Device should be his. Taco's dead. That's so far away. You don't even know where you die from. That's the power of the A1S. Taco's calling. Uh, he's outside. He's hell, probably. And now Device is posted up, looking to make Dumal's life exactly that. And it's another round for NIP. This CT side has been glorious. Other than the pistol and the anti-eco conversion, got sent one, one A rush on a half buy, and otherwise it's been all NIP. You're gonna go back to another one of these fast A plays because this is like one of the only things that's worked. They get down the vent, that's something they've been able to get away with somewhat consistently. But even now, right, your forces are split. Two up and two lower, and you need both these lower players to stay alive or else ah. you can't plant. He's tagging the lobby, no yeah, surprise. Classic. He's always there, mate. He spends more time in the lobby than Godsent do. Pretty much, dude. And right now, Barton's going to get a D, but you wouldn't imagine this should be a, a one round, a convertible round for Godsent. They don't even know how close they've gotten. Taco, they're right above you right now. They're in the walls, they're in the ceiling, they're in the vents. And Taco looks away at the wrong time. Hampus gets the spot. He's trapped by three on the bomb site. And Barton, couple of shots here would be nice. Couldn't get the ace last time, though. And this will be no exception. Bomb is stuck. And round is won by NIP. It's a good plan for Godsent on a broken buy. The vent drops have been nice to them at least, but NIP are not conceding yeah. rounds right now. And it's showing 14 and five. All of this dominance, Harry, and we haven't even talked about Rez because he's been a non-factor. He's not been dying. He's not been opening. He's just been chilling. Ramp side, dropping B. And so NIP don't need him. Not yet, but he's always in the back pocket yeah. for later. Your, uh, your job at ramp is a little boring when S-Tag is taking lobby every round. It's just <laughs> nullifying the position, right? Yeah. So He's lower, but gods haven't even, ha haven't even made it to secret, nor then. At, at the same time, Dumao slipped this net past the garage player outside. If Hampus can't hold on to this position at ramp, this lower position could get real scary with the secret flank coming in from Dumao, coupled with this ramp hit. But Rez catches Dumao on the lower push. Now he's got time to turn his attention back round and hold ramp. 
He's no longer in danger. Device has come <laughs> dropping in to help him out. And man, the responses out of NIP are so clean right now. Yeah, it's just too much confidence. Yeah, finally Rez, he gets a taste of blood at the end. Nothing stopped him so far. They're lining up smokes. Oh dear, Phelps jumps out, but Device doesn't know they're close. Taco saves the round and covers his team. A massive opening kill for Godsend. Think about what these smokes have done. You know that's gonna put the seed of doubt in your opponent, or at least that's what you're telling yourself, but it hasn't at all. Rez at ramp, we say that this guy hasn't really seen anyone yet. He's got support from Hampus. They're going to try and hold the line, and they are fighting for ramp control. They're not giving it up. They're not conceding. They're not showing respect. Barton will manage one. Oh, making a double, and Phelps what? suddenly coming in with a main frag. Here we go. Maybe Godsend can win this after all. One HP on Barton, 22 on Phelps. Plopski could end this round in two damn bullets, oh. and there's the first connecting. One HP on Barton. Barton. Is he on the angle? Is he wide enough? And no, he's just got covered. Popsky has to make noise. Barton's fired off. Popsky's missed. He doesn't realize. He doesn't know. Barton's hidden it in plain sight. And Plopsky just needs that final bullet. Flash, stalled, killed. But I don't know if there's time. It might just be a godsend round. He's trying to stick. He's pr uh, praying. He's hoping. But he's not winning. Yeah, finally, they've been able to hold on to lobby as well for the longest time. Like, you've denied information all across the board, but if you try drop oh. vent, oh, you're dead, Lato. Oh, get up there, <laughs> run away, but I know he drops back down into the Maws of the Beast, and now Taco needs to trade this. It's a little bit ugly. Oh. Him and Phelps are desperately fighting for this vent control, but it's going so, so wrong. Phelps, what can he do? Makes some noise, tries to bait the vent yeah, drop, and nice. will, Plopsky. Down to his death. He knows that both these remaining players are in this B bomb site. I assume. No, he doesn't know where Device is. Device is the unknown entity right now. <laughs> Holding ah. the bomb. He'll lock it in. 11 to 4 for NIP at the end of this first half. <gasps> he's right. Oh, he's seen a barrel. Hampus. <laughs> Dead to Phelps. And now they start to spill in towards this A bomb site. Like Godson, they were set up to play A retake from the get go. You have both the retake smoke in heaven from Barton and also these flashes to try and get you in. Four from heaven. Phelps coming in through main. It is all on this heaven push right now. Rez holding for it. They're flooding in. Oh Here they come. S tag underneath is dealt with by Barton. Plopsky, ooh, tapping them out, is throwing into this one on two. With Phelps winning the fight to device earlier on, he's now joining the action uh. as well. And together, him and Lato going to close that one out. It's both pistols going the way of Godsend here on Nuke. I haven't really seen it from him yet, so... Oh, oh not the opener you wanted. Hampus going to shut him down. CT side, it was Hampus lighting them up outside with that AWP. Well, now he's dropping it on the other side of things. Ramp's been left open as Godsend have shuffled players around. Uh -oh and Phelps might be in for a world of hurt. There are a lot of bodies here, and they are far deeper than he was ready for. Phelps is dead, and with him falling on lower, you can make an argument for this just being a save right away. Yeah, maybe get that AWP outside, right? And get away with whatever you can, but God sent. You never want to give it up without a fight. Unfortunately, the fight comes to you. You don't get to de decide. Lato, 1v5, and it's Device to tap him out of the round. Lovely from our NIP, right? Barton can even wield that weapon if he must. And so, yeah, I, I was wondering, did Dumao request it? Is he trying to get his head back in the game? That's not going to help. Oh, Phelps on the edge of the smoke. Somehow sees Hampers first. And but now with Taco warping ramp, Nib, it's something that they're definitely ready for, right? You're not completely underestimating your opponent. This is a, a contingency the gods sent go to every CT side on this map. Yeah, good few bodies here for Godsend though, right? This is not a free sight by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, They've got these crossfires set up. And for Dumao and Lato, that one's nice, squeaky clean and easy. Device gets out through the door. A 1v5? I don't know, Device, he might be the million dollar man. <laughs> this is quite the million dollar question. Here he is, creeping in. Oh, he knows he has a chance <laughs> at one, but Barton wins that out and you're never even worried. For the last, you know, 40 seconds waiting for exactly that. Now Taco's posted at ramp. This is a lovely read out of Godset. They know what NIP are trying to do, and they are poised to shut it down. Oh, the bait peaks. Taco's just wiggling, jiggling, forcing oh. shots and hitting every single one. He burns, but he dies a martyr right there. You've got like one rifle round between you and an even game. Oh, oh and dead after one. Lato's going to hold down the door and drops the bomb in the process, even trying to take Lobby away. And it's only Hampus left in the blink of an eye. Lato goes on a bit of a tear with the hat trick. 
double digits for God sent. Nib have to get this entry. They have to break through Taco, and he's stalling at the back box. There's Molotovs available. They know he's there, and they're going to burn him out. Rez with the shot. Hampus follows up to stop that AWP or an ESSA tag. Lobby King, and he's going to keep it clean as he does. Five on two. B can get taken, but the bomb's doubling back Lobby. That's awkward that S tag dies, but Godsen is still drop down lower. Why wouldn't you? You just lost ramp. Lato oh. does realize, but he's dead immediately, and that should be the round. It's such a shame, man, that he makes noise right at the top of the ladder because yeah. everyone, you know, they they all realize, oh, hang on a moment, someone's come back up. Yumao is in secret. This is the best position, right? It's typically been Phelps, and Phelps has not gotten away with anything on these stairs. But the orb, a quick shot could be nice. The Molotov makes you decide which way to go. And Duma has no smoke. He's tucked in the corner. They might know. It may even spread. It's not up to Dumao at this point, but they are walking right by. Yeah, they've spotted one, but but the, the man that scares me is not Rez going into secret. It's the Hampus. one pushing up into heaven. Hampus on this rap still. The rest of NIP, they can take a moment of pause because Hampus is here to oh. hold this A bomb site in through the heavens. Out with oh. three. Hampus has opened up A for NIP. And now this bomb, back of Plopsky, looking to move in. Hampus, he's already done so much in this. Oh, oh I was hoping to do more, but Taco flies up the ladder. Plopsky's going to drop down to that B bomb site. It's the double orbs up against Plopsky in a 2v1. Oh, is Plopsky ready? Oh, timing's everything. Timing is everything. And he's just got to do it on feeling alone. Doom out dead. Taco with the oh. swing. And Plopsky locks it in. 15 for NIP as him and Hampus deliver it all. It's Taco Nova well. ramp hold moment. Taco Nova ramp hold moment. How many can he get away with? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh ah. it's damage. But that's about <laughs> it. Taco's dead. Uh -oh. Ramp's now open, and this is going to put Thank pressure you. on the rest of the gang to try and make plays. They start to move into the lobby. They want to get info. They want to get, uh, you know, an equalizer, anything, anything in a spot like this. But all it's done is dig the hole deeper. They've gone outside. They've tried to get weird with it, and this could let them down, Harry. Even though Gotten don't have that info, <laughs> Tumal gets headshot looking hellwise. Wait, now they're going down lower. Yeah, oh my god, stack. God sent a both here. Oh, luckily enough. Phelps dead. It's all on Lato. An MP9 clutch in the 1v4. It's so unlikely. NIP, they've got 20 seconds. He's dealt with Hampus, but that bomb's going to go up the vent, get out of danger. And so Lato's round is really just beginning. It's so. So unlikely that he's going to be able to win this one. Yeah, Nip's got to do something harrowing, something wrong, and I don't think they will. S Tag has been on the money, but the headshot comes in. No kit, Harry, and none dropped. He's got to be quick. He's got to get the kills. And will Nip even give him the chance, the satisfaction? Lato taps the bomb. Device moves in, and it's going to be Nip to shut out Godsend's map pick. It looked good for a moment, but Nip finally redeemed themselves on these T sides. Well, they tried, they tried, and they're going to have to try again. Godsend with 11 4 first half. Bring this up to the point where you think, well, hey, what the heck? Maybe it could happen. But that is not the story that I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you that Nuke went the way of NIP right out of the gate. So I've got Jason and Kassad here with me as well. Guys, um, you wanted to believe. It's like Mulder and Scully. I want to believe. <laughs> what a reference that is. Not bad. How many people remember this? <laughs> I'm surprised. Well, I, yeah. It's okay. I think all they really did was kind of make the scoreline a little bit respectable. They got battered in this game. That first half was rough. They couldn't control the aggression from NIP. What was it? Hampus, S Tag, and Device had great CT halves. 15, 16, and 17 kills, respectively, on those three players. They were just dominant. Oh. And, and again, it, it felt like what we saw against VP yesterday for Godsent, where they were never comfortable with anything they had on the T side. They were never comfortable with what they had and what was coming next. And you could see just the game plans just fall apart. The thing is, like, Godson tried many different things. They tried, like, fast aggression outside, yep. fast upper hits, everything, like, it's just, you know, NIP was always on the right spot at the right time, especially Hampus. Hampus was, like, he's mobility in this CT half was amazing. He was starting secret, he was pushing T-Red, he was buying an op, he was expecting device playing with an op he usually does in uh, in uh, nuke games, but Campus was, the, like we see here, Campus was the one with the, uh, with the op as well, so we can see him on leather as well with an op, so a lot of a lot of mobility from him, a lot of impact frags, a lot of like stoppages from yeah. him alone to get this 11-4 half. I mean, coming into overpass, it's a 50% like uh, win rate on, on, on that map for Godset. I don't think they enjoy it too much. I think 
they might have expected something like this from NIP, like if they thought it like deeply. But starting on CT side will be their best, you know, strength right here. Not only is it a really low win percentage, they've lost their last three games on yeah. this map. And here are the teams they lost to. Movie Star, Riders, Visla Krakow, and Fnatic. Oh. Nip no prettier either. They're on a three-loss streak, but against far better teams, Liquid, Astralis, Na'Vi, you can put an asterisk on it if you want. But Nip looking to outclass the Brazilians, looking to outlast Godsend as we get into the quarterfinal. Fast little B-pop from NIP, Ooh. running into the site, and Godsend open up with a kill from Lato on the short side. Hampus hung out to dry, and Dumao will get the better of him. Oh, no. As Device dead as well, and so suddenly the numbers start to dwindle for Nip. Oh, the backstab, they're getting flanked. Nip now trapped Popsky in graffiti, and he can't clutch it out, not again. Because Godsend is so passive back on the A side of the map. Uh-oh. They're going to have Ooh. fast rotations at the very, very least. The last map, they converted both times, even against four spy from MIP with rifles. So you don't want to start losing them now. And Barton will make sure that is not to happen. M4 dropped. But if Hampers wants it, wants it he's got to go into the firing line. And that's a lovely shot. Where's the gun? He's got it. 1v2 and no chance, no room. Lato repeaks and Godsend do convert the anti-eco yet again. Nip do have the smoke for it, lining it up now. Barton hasn't seen these players, but he knows what's coming. Yeah, this is kind of weird that he still hasn't seen anyone. And oh, his oh, timing yeah. on that flash turn is just brutal. A millisecond too early. Taco's got to hold the line. All three at Monster. His work cut out for him. The orb rotating smoke. up into heaven, but the smoke wrecks Taco. There's Lato chiming oh. in, and we said that this orb could win you the game. Well. He pops off and certainly goes the distance to win them the round. It's 5-0 and oh for God's sake. They can find holes in this defense, ways to get the pick before they give too much away. Good luck, Phelps. Yeah, Phelps is left forward in the toilet oh. alone. They're wrapping him. Oh, how does he get out with one there? That is more than he should have been able to get away with. Lato is in a bit of a rough spot as well. They can wrap him along. They can push him on short. They can push him through toilets. He is freaking out right now, but he's going to try and nice. seize this gap momentarily back into the site. And so Lato is safe for the time being. Meanwhile, look at Connectome. Look at the uh, the boys in Barton and Dumao. They're both on this flank coming up through the short side while Taco and Co hold down A. That's beautiful out of godsend wonderful little wrap up into mid they've got the read they hold the line Lato back to middle we've got a deeper setup look at the confidence that godsend are amassing right oh that's a spot for rez sick jump off of the uh little slide there he sees that godsend got party and i don't know that he, if they know that he knows does the info go both ways it might not matter he's scared of a heavy a presence so they duck down into a quick b pop this is a perfect reaction for nip the one man in the bomb site is gone and in many a round you could even justify a save goes for the swing but it is a miss this is where like you know you can start to feel like the mind games start right because finally hampus has been able to oh. out call out position the likes of god set and now he's hoping he can hold on to that feeling and do it again five on four phelps i love it going front of the smoke but the flash is perfect and hampus another opener deciding rounds for god set you know null and void and the save still comes in and so here is hampus three in the round and this is what we say. This is where, like, that mind game, that head-to-head, -head, that real battle of brains trying to outperform one another it is going to get kicked up a notch. Last round, it was the calling from Hampus that was enough to win it. This round, he's not just out-positioned Godsent, he's outperformed them as well. He gets both the openers over towards A, and he very much was the reason that NIP put this second round on the board. Luckily, not going to fall into thinking this is up. totally empty. Plopsky, this is big, waiting in Khan. They're playing this double setup to counter oh. the short aggression. That is beautiful out of NIP. Yeah. Baited them into pushing there. And so now this little B pop, it is well and truly back on the cards. Lato's orb. Well, we'll fire off for the first. The nade's going to do even more follow up damage, making it a bit easier oh. for Taco to pounce out. And suddenly it's flipped on its head again. Device and S tag still alive, still in this one. Oh, there's Device dead, and only S-Tag oh. remains. Jeez. Give it. Yeah, he does need a gun to do this. And even then, not doable at all. Taco locks it in. Lovely little B anchor work, and again, just not playing until his teammates take contact. Really, really cool scenes. Now, this round, Phelps is surely dead. Oh, my God. How is he always good for one in these positions? Lau's flash has helped, and Phelps has taken oh. out two. That is more than you could have asked of him there. 
not an easy spot to be in at all. It takes device to reel him in a little bit, but it's still God set in this four on three man advantage. All the info because of Taco's push at the B bomb site. 30 seconds and three CTs here. There it is, perfect peak. Rez clears out one man, but there's a second on the truck and he's gonna save the life of Lato. Barton stepping up as S-Tag, one on three and not much time to do it. No one even giving him the kill. And this is so frustrating. If he wants to cross, the orb's on him. Luckily, S-Tag grabs that kill and Lato mollied off, lets him plant for CT. Good awareness from S-Tag. Now needs to care Dumpster. It's being wrapped up short side and S-Tag takes the second, but he doesn't know the third. He hasn't realized. Taco's coming in for the back and S-Tag is open. Uh, they, they, oh, oh, Taco just missed it as well. They both just missed one another. No idea. Oh, S-Tag is looking completely the wrong way. And Taco's going to find him. He even threw a flashback yeah, maybe he over it came short, from B. But it sounds, I guess, I guess yeah. from where it pops, it sounds like that's come up from the B site, yeah? And now again, Harry, this time, Godson want to get involved. Phelps pushed down middle and Rez... Not a second to relax in this round. Not going to be hanging around on the slide. Last time Nip saw this aggression, they just popped into B, but this time Godsent have more of a defense here. Two players in position, plus the flank out con. And it's a lineup for Barton. Headshot through Hampus. Here they come through Monster. Molly hits him from his teammate. That's a bit of a sell down the river from Taco, but he'll luckily pick up the pieces. The vice in a clutch of his own. How much has he got? Man, he's getting wrapped from all sides. They're on short, they're on monster, they're in heaven. Everywhere you look, someone from God said, oh. he's there to take you down. But that is a blind hit by device. Smoke on the bomb. It's the full commitment out of device. So he's given a chance to play the 1v2 up Whoa. in heaven. Contact's about to get made, oh. device. Good for two out of the three needed, but it's Phelps to trade and keeps this scoreline looking real pretty for Godsent. No idea, oh Taco's crossed, but he is blind. That Molly buys time, oh. Dumao taking a shot and they run through the Molotov with the smoke. Barton again, lines up two, there's a team kill and Nip, nothing can go right. Harry, you said Godsent needed an 11-4 CT side to hold strong and Nip's map pick, <laughs> they may go one step further. The flags are raised. Uh, you know, Brazil has staked their claim. The right. fortress is open for business. Someone get me a flight to Gotland. I need me some cement for my <laughs> fortress. I hear they have it in high supply. Oh, man. Oh, Phelps right. caught out this time. Finally. Uh, you know, last time we saw Hampus open up around, that was actually the, the recipe to success for NIP, if you remember. We've said how these two, mate, it's like a chess game between the two of them. He's wrapping the other IGL in the toilets, looking for him. It's weird on the timing. It is weird. It's gone past Hampus. And if Hampus is going to move into A, he oh, could clear this entire oh. thing. Instead, Taco doesn't elect to play trigger discipline. They know now that he's gotten past Hampus. And so suddenly Hampus thinks he's got room oh, opened no. up on this A bomb site. This is so peculiar. Hampus could be in pole position to put a third on the board for NIP. They're both open. As soon as he gets heaven, he's won the round. This, oh man, Hampus. Just don't, don't have your towering moment. This needs to be clean. There's Doom out dead. Lato's suddenly having a turn on a dime. He realizes what's wrong. He realizes what's happened to the timing that's been hit. <laughs> and so once more, Hampus is the man to find a round for NIP. Just Taco left in the 1v4. And with Hampus still holding on to heaven, Taco has got his work cut out for him. Just delaying the inevitable Taco. Resmoked. He's going to go right through. Now they know. Footsteps are plenty. And Nip are going to quad peek him to find a third. It's not pretty. It's not nice. Uh, maybe it's enough. We'll have to find out. Popsky's even activating to flank. He might be able to cut down this bomb on the short tunnel. s called cool for help, but he won't be able to even get that smoke out before he's dead. Device in the middle of the site. And Barton Blind hits the head. It's Plopsky burning out. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. And we know Godsend like to boost heaven. Even though it's not nuke, they still do it. Up the rafters, wrapping Hampus because he's got the headshot, but he knows there's more in store. Yeah, this little heaven boost, though, it's not going to find you the impact you want with that bomb not being down. Taco's instead trying to run and fight Hampus uh -oh. in CT. That's where Rez swings from the short side. Nice. Steals the round back, and so finally NIP are able to win a pistol. Hampus with the late boost, crouch, and up he goes with the door knocked off. He can clear Con Parrell scene and Phelps oh. right below. Hampus never knew how close he got. Now they're still going to try and pop out oh B with God. this kill. Esetag doesn't know, but the shadow gives it away. And he finds one, helped out, doubled up through the wall. It's ridiculous stuff. Nip up 3-2.
Dumao doesn't have a smoke for the Molotov. It bounces far. It goes through it towards Jail, so he can't commit. Ooh. Okay, okay there's the opener. There's the opener. Now Device is being called for. They need him to come on down. They need him to help out because S-Tag's pinned and S-Tag's stuck. Backed into this corner. Device. Hoping he's going to get given an opportunity. He has just missed that timing. He has just missed that timing. Now, Barton could get sidelined if they're not careful. Oh, yeah, there's Device dealing with him. Dumao's going to swing, but runs out of ammo. That is such a shame. That would have been it. One he more bullet. He brings both players down low. Class set into short again. It, it, surely it's not another B explosion. NIP are genuinely oh not ready for it this oh. time around. They only had two in the sight, and so they're very, very passive. Backed up. Oh, this team Molly. Phelps, whose entries have been on point. Barton follows up. Plopski still in the sight, still here. They're running him up. They're running all around him. And now he's in the back line, trying to tear this away, trying to make something happen. Oh. It's Plopski on for a double. And hell, I mean, he's here. He's fighting whether he wants to or not. Do he's going to try and give the round a go the stick. Five seconds, he's on it. And Lato shuts him down from short. Nip in a weird buy. Ha! Estag hit with the orb through that little cracking con. He's down to 10. Double orb, and neither of them on device, it's worth noting. He fakes footsteps back, and then he runs forward. Oh my god, you could tell what? he wanted to spam that smoke. <laughs> One step ahead. And Godsend, still heavy B control on the other side, but they've got all the info. A little jump spot. Dumal sees off the top of the boost, and Taco has an entry as well. Godsend, why stop now? Yes, yes, Godsend. Yes, they're inside of B. They're running it down. Plopsky once again, only defender, and he'll get brushed aside. Dumal deals with him. And Rez is left saving this AWP. Well, now NIP, they, they've actually decided to force buy around this hero warp. They are all in, all the marbles. So Godsend have had five players use the AWP. Nip have now had four players. Oh, Hampus is swapping it out. Fair enough, mate, fair enough. But that was the fourth player to take it the series as well. Everyone's just trying to throw what they can at the wall, see what sticks. Godsend, they're sticking to B, they're sticking to their guns. Another fast pop and only pistols here. The AWP out of position for this round. Plopsky gets a kill and he does get the rifle, doing something with it. Lato trades out, but he's not looking at monster. Communication getting the better of Godsend. There was a double monster set up, one man's gone, but they know from the kill feed alone that Plopsky still stands here. You've got Nip split up, but even though Device was on that top site to start, Godsend might end there. I mean, you know, for these Godset boys, they, they were kind of shopping around for an organization for a while for device. This dude comes with a quadrillion dollar price tag, right? So you're hoping that if anyone could oh. do it, it's device. But no, Barton bests him in the head-to-head. -head. That's the orb gone. Plopsky, three in the round already. Every kill has come at the hands of Plopsky with this rifle. He needs the ace if he wants to clutch it out for NIP and deny 15 to Godsend. Oh, oh no! He falls off the truck! And Barton turns on a dime and shuts out the only ray of hope for NIP. This is one of the first round Godsend haven't gone for a quicker B approach. It's more of a default and Rez is being held. Sweaty stuff, but it doesn't matter when you hit shots like that. Oh my, and Phelps is creeping past Device who's... Playing the cubby, playing the spam spot now. Does Phelps check it or does he try to play the timing? Oh, this is so peculiar. This is so weird. Phelps has <laughs> slipped the net and Device is dead in middle. That's both players over at A. No. Oh, it's all going wrong. NIP with every attempt to right their wrongs. It's only getting worse. And Phelps once more, all the space that he's been able to take, helped out by Barton in this round, uh, is looking to seal the deal. God said, what year is it? One kill away from taking us to the third map of Ancient. And Plopsky, I mean, the reality's setting in. This guy's given us so many close clutches, so many close clutch attempts, but this is not one of them. They're holding for it. They know where he is. God said, this is uh, impeccable, man. So well played here on Overpass. Their opponent's <laughs> map pick. They lock it in. And this series, this quarterfinal, drags on into the third and final map of Ancient. Amos. Uh, New York was really difficult. We had a game plan to play uh, uh, the, at least the beginning of the game, going a lot of a lot outside. And uh, they, they, they did a good job there. And then we couldn't find a solution to to, to have a good T, T half, T side half. 
Uh, besides that, we have a good start on, on the city side. We won the piece around and we thought that we could come back, but uh, some key rounds, Hampus was playing really good outside and uh, yeah, it was difficult for us on Nuke. Even though we lost Nuke, I'm happy that we could, uh, we could bounce back on Nova Pass, we could uh, keep the spirit and keep the, uh, the energy really high for the team, with the team and everyone's talking, everyone's communicating, that's how it should be and uh, we're going to come strong for this third map. Uh, I just want you guys to know that we are going to do our very best to destroy NIP in this third map. We are really focused and we really want this win and let's do, let's do it. Let's go for it. Godsend is the mentality, right? They lost the first yeah. pick, like against Big as well. They come into the second map in the first half. CT said they just go all over mm. the 12, 3 half. You know, aggression everywhere, rotations, everything like shots hit. Oh, every, every shot is hit on the right time and everything is going like according to plan something you wouldn't expect from a young team like that you know right here right now it's ancient a third map between godsend and nip now holy qualification godsend it was ancient that got them there but lato well, he finds a first pick. Phelps is shot through the smoke. It's a quick A split for Godsent with a top mid smoke. They run through Donut. A late lurk out A main and Rez bringing the pain. Two headshots in this round already. Bomb will be able to get planted. There's a late mid lurk, but you've got to watch your back, Taco. Play a herd, and this is a weird one. Get out of there where you still can. Godsent a man down with a bomb on their side. Their first pistol in that second half of overpass. They're now looking to restart their good track record. Time is really starting to elude NIP. They've been very, very sparing with this clock and, and they don't really have the ability to. They need these kills and they need them now. Smoke on the bomb. They're sticking it. Doom out. Can't find the kill to deny it. Oh. Damage, but not enough. The defuse stuck at NIP. Now is a better time than ever. Forced by for God's sake. Galils are out. No util. They've just waltzed into the B-bomb site. Given up by NIP. It's going to have to be a retake after all, once again. Careful, Barton. Yeah, this is scary, <laughs> mate. Playing with utility on this corner, Barton. Oh, oh that's more sick. like it. Little double up. Oh, Hampus back with the responses, suddenly given NIP a chance. He was not meant to get the double there. Oh, God sent in trouble. It's a very wide plant. It is for Ramp, both Ooh. here and Taco with the swing. Even though you know where both of them are, all it's doing is really setting in just how <laughs> impossible this clutch is. Little set piece on this site thrown by a uh, thrown from Main, and now Taco he starts to uncover the terrible truths of what lies in the donut. At least two. That's yeah. a third. I mean, it, it, this could still get like really out of hand. What with the bomb being all the way back in T-spawn? You're gonna go grab that. You're, you're assuming like if we run this into B, we should be fine. But with this flank coming through, oh my God, everyone's freaking out on the side of God's set. They're running, they're running away. They're getting chased down. Oh, oh, it's a whole swarm of them. Phelps trying to hold on. These USPs oh. shouldn't cause you problems. And yet still, it's down to this 1v1. Res might be low, but NIP didn't just do all of this with these vanilla pistols only to give up now. AK retrieved, okay. and Lato left to beat, but no information. Both heading into this blind ah. with no armor on res. He's a dead man coming through this smoke. Lato makes it happen. Right now, Nip coming in with the big guns. It's a lovely eco. What can they do now that they're armed to the teeth? Again, flashing out A for God's sake. This time they commit, and it's into Rez, who seems to have woken up in this final map of the series with it all to play for, everything on the line. Yeah, device. Turns from the flash, S tag sets him up nicely. Lato might have got that opener, but he's the walking wounded, and he's still got both Cave and CT to try and clear. There isn't a smoke for any of these angles, so as you're moving up the ramp, you feel so open. Oh, oh that's okay. nice out of Doom out. And now if he can deal with Cave, that is a lot more room cracked open. The others were in CT. That third guy was in Cave. A is ripe for the taking. And so oh. Dumao's moved in, but he's got to hold the oh. line. And with him falling at the hands of Rez, Taco is now in a very rough spot. Yeah, it's stressful for Dumao. He kind of had to take that fight. He knows it's one of the only one-on-ones he's going to get versus that first rotator. Now look at how Nip's set up. They just wait, ready to trade, ready to win. It's Rez down first. Taco pre-firing. He almost hits the headshot, shooting too soon. Now down low, it cost him. Plant is allowed, but Nip are going to swing this together. Taco needs both headshots, and he needs them immediately. Surely they see the barrel. Yeah, yeah, mate, they've got him pinned in. Ooh, Phelps burning on the molly. These spams as well that we see shooting through, oh, they can get pretty painful. Device 
laying it down two kills through the ramp we saw phelps try and react off the back of s tag spamming okay buddy but it was device covering the ramp long and short smokes or a cave smoke down can give you a lot more options than just dry fighting the ramp like this yeah i mean they'd gotten into b in these previous rounds by just walking in so that's you know the confirmation bias of maybe we should keep doing it but now nip have more numbers here and device is seriously doing work lovely tap from Barton, but a one on four, surely not. Swung by Propsky, another headshot, and Barton is making me question everything. Hampus will contain the round though, and Nip three to three equalize very quickly. This position doesn't really care about utility. Very hard to flash as well. Device, ooh, ho, ho, ho. it's the A1S effect, man. It just makes you feel invincible when you're shooting smokes. And well, for now, Device is put down low, but still standing tall. He leans back to A. Rez with a bit of a gap, they're running his way. Oh dear, which side do they clear? Oh, Taco turns and Rez gets picked off. Hampus in the middle of the site, in the middle of the open, pick a target or die with none. Five on two, God sent Storm their way. They blitz into A. I'm, I'm kind of, oh Let's my try. God, Dumao's even hunting. This yeah. is so grimy. This is so grimy. Oh. Umao with the double denies the save and breaks the money of NIP, essentially securing Godsent the lead again. Boost dropped, but we're going to get back up. Give it another go. Oh, double layer setup again. Niplop putting four pistols together and finding success. They may do it once more. An eco. Don't win it now. Barton, he's not going to clear it. He has no idea. Oh. And Rez gets a gun. You don't want to give this guy an AK when he's angry. Two on five. Flip the other way. And Godson need to pull a rabbit out of a hat. Yeah, and with no smoke either, man. This is such a problem. You need to actively fight for CT oh, no, or no, Temple. No. And you're not ready for hamper. Push shot in the back again. Lato, 1v4. All these AKs have been retrieved. <laughs> He's up against the full on militia on the other side. Oh, dear. And there they are surrounding him. Oh, dear. Hammers is blind. He doesn't know he's being hunted down. Lato running it up to the A site. And Nip started triple B. They've got no one here. They were going to pull back quickly. But Godsend haven't been keen to run out of A in the first five seconds. Here they are taking that space off the pick provided by Lato. Rez smoked off. Does some damage, but nothing here to stop. I say that. Smoke and Warbang spam finds Phelps. And with an equalizer, suddenly you're tempted in. In fact, you're committed. That Molly is trapped Rez in Temple. The retake is on. Oh, Plopsky's getting weird around this smoke. Rez might die in Temple, but there's more here to try and trade, nice. try and back him up. Nice finds it. And now with Plopsky uh -huh. playing around that smoke, that felt doomed. Doom out. All alone. And he's got to go, him. yeah, he's got to go really wide to stop this defuse. Like, really wide. He needs to be further forward than this. Catching them on the cross. Now they know where he is, but no one's getting on the bomb yet. It's giving Doom out oh. time, luckily enough. Device has got the stopwatch out. Yep. Calls for Plopsky to get on the bomb and holds the line. Barton's got mid flashes. Didn't know you could throw them from here. That's nice. Some of the walls can't throw anything over. Device. Oh, dinked. Get out of there. Did the classic QQ a little too yeah. fast, right? That definitely would have been a tag. That was dead on. Blue. Rez as well getting pressure. Hey, oh, he's calling for support, and Device has come in at just the right time. He might be low, but he still takes one to the grave with him. Dumao's dead in red, and Lato and Taco are left up in the two on four. They can't get past Rez, who is anchoring this A bomb site brilliantly right now, mate. These rotates on the back of these B plays. Same can be said for this A side, mate. Oh, this is a fake. This is fully sold by Phelps. He's got a kill. Look at the adjustment. Mid players pulling back. Rez calling. It's actually an A stack. Everyone's rushing out main, and he is oh, gone instantly. Yes. Device's orb does fire back, though, and you don't want to count Nip out. That would be foolish. That would have been you spurred on to give this a go. I mean, you've got the money. Oh. You can give this the look in. You may as well attempt it, and with Plopsky. <laughs> Dead after one, it's all on to Device. He's getting wrapped through red by Phelps. That should be the failsafe. That should be the lock-in. Oh. Device is Deagle. Delivers the first, but time's against him. The whole world's against him, and Phelps' flank should seal the deal. Oh. Device with the turn. Don't you dare. Time's run out. That's his enemy. That's his problem. And Taco, even though he falls at the hands of Device, he wins the round for God's sake. I mean, it's close, but you just wipe the sweat off your, your forehead there and say, thank God we won another gun round. It's been a while for God's sake. It's been an absentee side of them.
lots of noise being made. There's no question about whether Godson are here. Plopsky wants more info, but it's uh, disinfo. It's misinfo for Godson, who don't show lane early, only now taking it at 128. Ampers is flanky a main. He might get some kills, but this is still misinfo. He sees people setting up smokes. That being said, Nip seem to know what's going on. They're leaning B after that kill. S tag. Oh. Okay, right. will get opened up onto device. Top in the charts right uh, now and not showing any uh, signs of slowing down. Puts up 20 to close out this first half. NIP lead the way. God sent, they've got to dig deep or else this might be the end of their journey. Alion Hampers clears out the lane, but NIP, it's an A game right now. And Ooh. that's a lovely opener out of Rez. Taco dead and suddenly you're spilling over into this A bomb site. Yeah, the best A take we've seen on Matt Brian. That's mainly because Godsend just don't have the numbers here. Leaning 4B. There's a retake on the cards. Do you how's a kit? No util. You've got to win your fights here. And first, you've got to get Donut. It's the best post plant position. And there's full of Swedes, two in fact, waiting in the wings. Barton trying to move in from the temple. Only two Godsend players left up, and the kills not coming their way. Beautiful shot from S Tag, and he's going to follow up. Two in the round, and 11 rounds for Nip. However, God sent, they've converted everyone. Oh, hello. And IP have not. Oh, oh trying oh. to hold it. That's <laughs> awkward. It's one way to do it. Device is nade. Doing a little too much damage, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, ask Plopsky. He'll agree. Don't worry, Device, you can make up for it now. If you get this kill, ah, safety is restored. He would have to go huge to win this. He would need a mow down of the ages. There's one. Angle. <laughs> we'll get out of there, right? Falling back, it's a nice idea. Gives him a second chance at fighting in this B side, oh. but the ammo runs dry. It's heartbreaking. They were all blind. Could have been in with a chance. You've had that molly come out from Ninja. You know there's players in this cubby, but will he be ready for the double setup? That's the problem. S tag swinging out after the fact gets that trade. And you're not going to have much room for error. This should be 13-5. Are they taking a, uh, a page out of the NIP book, putting four USPs in Donut? But a little more impatient this time around. Hampers with a Glock out gone. And it's only USPs, but Popsky's patient, trying to make some money on the way out. Oh, see ya. Yeah, the sad reality of this, right, is that Godson, they are not going to have many chances to uh, to turn this one around. You, you're you really hinging on this idea that NIP's T-sides can just come crumbling down to hold true now more than ever. Ooh, how are you making this so close? He's the guy who's going to have to do the bulk Walk of in. the heavy lifting. Oh, oh, the nade. It just dribbles along the ground. With S-Tag holding this. <gasps> do now. Still got an out. Oh, the Smoke's aim punch will wreck him. And yeah, this smoke is making it very claustrophobic. This one scavenged rifle trying to keep opportunities in check. Four God sent smoke on the bomb, tapping it, trying to bait a peek. He doesn't know that both players are down the ramp. They call it. Nip call his bluff as well, yeah. and I love it. I mean, you know he's not going to have the kit. You know it's a full eco. As wild a thought as this is, bro, if he stuck it, he would have won the round. It's insane, isn't it? Both times as well. Not calling it once, but twice, man. When you know he has no info. Honestly, a stick might have been his best play, but instead, saving the AK. Never to know that Nip wouldn't hunt him down. Orps out for Lato. He had a great game on overpass after Doom Hour. was a bit sloppy on his on Nuke. And Hampers runs right out middle. The nade again will be what gets it done for Godsend. Taco needs catch to decide, yeah. yeah. Does he want to climb up from mid-side or oh. does he want to go back through spawn? It is the former and Plopsky's there, the perfect peak. Literally a second later, so of course it favors him. Now they run their way to A. And even though Godsend are here ahead of time, Nip are all grouped up and they're going to have a fairer fight. Yeah, Doom out, that's a lot of damage. If Barton can capitalize. Oh, Device is TK'd. Not again. Man, NIP. They've got to look over their shoulder in every one of these fights. Swedes and Danes are not meant to get on, but come on, not like this. There's the flank from Phelps to seal the fate of NIP in that uh -oh. round there. God sent, they claim a sick. Oh, Taco and Lato yeah. going to play the bait and switch, right? Two ways Ooh. you can elect to play this one. 
Oh, Dumel oh, spots fine. them falling back into middle. And so suddenly, Penny's going to drop that actually Barton is the guy feeling the pressure. Here they come. Back of the A site, the open hand. They're not main. Everyone's through Donut, but Barton's not to know that. Eventually, him and Lato. Oh, oh, they collapse on in and they drop that bomb out in the open. Plopsky has got 15 seconds, mate. You've got to be running and you, you can't. Sneak it up through CT. Nails the first. But Barton. Hiding out, and he knows he doesn't have the time, doesn't have the resources, doesn't have the room to win this clutch. God sent. Keep the rounds flowing. Device needs to put it to good use. Send a pistol first. Let them die. You know there was no up here earlier. And, well, Device will just straight up peek him, taking down the AWP. Taco trades. Popsky grabs the gun. And Taco's buying time, but not enough. Deeged out. Popsky uses the sidearm. Rez tries to take Donut, but not for long. And now Nip, they may have the sight. Their last smoke going down to cut off Donut. And the plant is in. <sighs> That's a lot of damage, but... This could be a 14th round for Nip if Hampus can get value out of this flank. Oh, no! no! A missed shot! They've turned back. Plopsky instead with the orb oh. has to rise up, and he's good for a double. Lato all alone, head on a swivel, running out of time, and the reality setting in that the pistols might have done it. He's out of there, saving this gun. NIP up to 14. <laughs> the hero orb delivers in a massive way. Yeah. All the kills coming off the back of that AWP. God sent you what was up, and they still couldn't put a stop to it. Nip trying to run wild with this one, but Phelps back to B lane and bringing the pain. It's only one. Rez did <sighs> the same with that smoke down. There's nothing Nip can do about this B control. They can shoot through, but God sent are not offering up kills. That might be enough. 20 seconds, he turns round, and oh. Hampus is wider than he was ready for. Nip, this is a weird and wacky round, and they've taken some serious space. Hampers getting pushed in close. Hard spot to clear, especially with Device taking contact. They might never know until it's already too late. Nip, surrounded by 15 rounds, it's coming up. There's nothing Godsend can do about it. Hampers, Hampers, oh, oh, there we go. He saves the day, but Barton's already run away. Smoke. Dumas got to pick which side to play. Deagle up close. Oh, Hampus, he checks it. He clears the corner. Deeg's not doing enough. The Famas does get a kill, but smokes it down, and so is the bomb. Nip are ready to go to the semi finals. Yeah, this is the easiest you're going to have it, right? This three on three is the simplest you're going to get, the best chance you're going to oh. have to lock in a semi final appearance. Taking that man advantage, stripping it away from Godsend, even assembling this boosting cave. There's so much going against Godsend right now. And NIP looking to lock this in. Barton needs to do the impossible, and he can't make it happen. Hampus is there to close. And NIP, they take us the distance, but they will be going to the semis. Uh, we did a lot of prep, and uh, like we, we saw how they played before, and they played like the similar almost every game. So we kind of knew, like, when they threw the smoke, we knew what, what they're doing on the smokes. Like, if they smoked fast, they went A. And if they smoked, like, 10 seconds later, they, they go yard. So, yeah, our analyst and coach did super good prep on this. So, yeah, we just had amazing prep on Nuke, and it made us really easy for us. Then, going into the next two maps, like, the scoreline swung, you know? Then mm. they took over on Overpass. Yeah. Then you guys took over again on Ancient. Is there any explanation for why that is? I have no idea. I think like when they they have their backs against the wall, like it's if they lose the map, they're out. I think they all you know just stepped up in the moment, and all five of them just played better individually than us on overpass. And then on ancient, I think, yeah, it was the same for us basically. Any closing thoughts? Because we got just a few more minutes before we get just here. a godsend. I, I want to yeah, talk about the, the, the way they recovered, like in a few games here, and they had a, like a you know decent chance to win this one. They lost that one, and they one eco that they lost in the first uh, first half as well. That was just a clear case of like not enough experience in games like this right yeah all in all mentality is there right the piece that there ricardo is behind them to deal with it to manage all the you know all the brazilians the there. frustrations the yeah. fallout so so all in all they have good pieces brazil is in, is in a is in good hands and they have some you know promising future teams